Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's go funny lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to Satan or Allah Satanist Satanist view versus Satanist versus Muslim. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. 300 families over 1,000 orphans are going to benefit. Please help me reach my target now. Yes, that's correct. Not only does it encourage you to read, it tells you how many verses you've read, how many pages you read, how long you've been on it, and best of all, the Hasana counter. Download the Quran app now and have a Ramadan with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's book like you've never had before. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. We have, what's your name? June. June. That's good. Yeah. June. Yeah. We're in September. We are, yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, man. That's good. June. Yes. I think you maybe you're the first person ever that I'm talking to that is a Satan worshipper. Tell me your story. <laughs> well, um, I was Christian for two yeah. years. Okay. When I was 18. Okay. Um, I found out about it from my ex, who was a witch at the time, pagan. She was a witch? Pagan, okay. yeah. Um, she used to be a Satanist. Okay. So I found it out through her, and the more I discovered, the further I went into it. I've been to the temples in America. Okay. It just works. It works? Yeah. Okay. So when you say it works, what do you mean by that? Works for my life, gives me freedom, be who I want, do what I want within reason. And still have a good afterlife. Okay, who promised you your afterlife? Baphomet. He promised you it. And why do you know what he said is the truth? In Alistair Crowley's The Book of Law, yeah. it is said that the hierarchy of demons cannot yeah. overrank another demon. So what he says as the yes. ruler of hell is true. I'm going to go to Surah Ibrahim verse, yep. so we can make some sense of this, yeah? Yeah. So now you're a Satan worshiper, so you worship Satan. To an extent. Okay, why do you worship Satan? Is he deserving of worship? So we worship Baphomet, but yeah. we say how we Satan at the end. Okay, who's Baphomet? Baphomet is above Satan. He's above Satan. And who, who, who is he? We, we call him Iblis. Sorry? We call him Iblis. We have Iblis and yeah. we have his foot soldiers. Yes. Yeah? Okay. So is Baphomet the Iblis? I guess so. Okay, why is he deserving of worship? He, promise you, he promises you good afterlife. Okay, good He's afterlife. God of peace. And so how is he, well, when you talk about Satanism, yes. or Satan, we're not really talking about someone that's quite good here. Yeah. So how have you defined that as someone good? Okay. So Satanism comes from two words. Okay. Satan and ism. They both okay. derive from Latin. Okay. Satan, satanus, which means opposition. And ism. Oppos opposition? Yeah. And ism comes from ismalium, which means um, God. So it's the opposition to God. Okay. How could opposition to God be good? So, God is good. We don't deny that. We yeah. follow the Bible's timelines, aka Adam and Eve, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But we don't follow his outlook on life. In our doctrine, it yeah. does say a lot about the Bible yeah. and what you should follow. Yeah. But, for example, it says you can't have sex before marriage, right? Yes. Or you can't be gay. Yeah. We don't follow those stuff. Why? We just don't, it's not in our doctrine. So, so you're rebellions? Yeah. So if you're rebellion um, against God, which is the ultimate source of all creation, and the creator of Baph Baphomet, what's, no. it what's it called? Baphomet. Baphomet. What? Baphomet. Baphomet. Yeah, he created Baphomet. No. Yes. Yes. Who created Baphomet? He was always there. He was always there. So is he God? No. Okay. So God is, has, you affirm God. What's the attributes of God? Does he have a um, beginning and end? No, all powerful, all knowing. Okay, can you have two all powerful? Yeah. How? I know it doesn't make sense logically, yeah. but in a, in a broad understanding of it, yeah. it's outside of human comprehension. So if you're putting two all powerful against each other, you won't know the outcome until Judgment Day. No, but the thing is here, on the Judgment Day, what's going to happen is, uh, which I'll show you, but guess what Satan says next, the one that you worship? And Iblis, Satan will say, when the matter will have been decided. So who's going? Hell is clear, who's going to paradise is clear, right? It will be said, Allah promised you a truthful promise while I gave you a promise and did not fulfill it. So Satan is promising you a lie. And on the day of judgment when you're with him, he's going to say, is this what he's going to say to you? He's going to say, God promised you a truthful promise while I gave you a promise and I did not fulfill it. I had no authority over you, except that I invited you and you accepted my call. So do not blame me. 
but blame yourself. Neither I am to come to your help, nor can you come to my help. I disown your association with me, associating me with Allah in the past. Surely there is a painful punishment for the unjust. So Satan is saying, I lied to you. You followed me because they can't be two more powerful than one. Even though it's contradictory, because Allah says in the Quran, if there was more than one God, they would have fight each other. Yeah? So the fact that you are following Satan and you know that God is the most powerful, there can't be two powerful. God ultimately has to create. Can I? Okay. Yes. So what you're saying is from the Quran. Yes. We don't follow the Quran and also yes. we don't worship Satan. So yes. we worship Baphomet. And you're saying that two all powerful come together, it contradicts. Yes. It doesn't. Yes, it does. Because on Judgment Day, yeah. you'll see what happens. Who, in, the, in the Bible, what is hell described as? I, I don't know. A lake I, I of fire. Know. It's one sentence in the whole thing. Yeah. Why would he not describe all of it? Well, it does in the Quran. That's why we believe the Bible has been corrupted. Where does it say that? The Bible is itself. The, the Bible, the scholars of the Bible itself, uh, is corrupted. But where, where does it say in the Quran? Yeah, in the Quran it says, Woe to those who change the scriptures with their own hands and say, This is from uh, God. Forget what Muslims say, go to the Bible yourself. Yeah? But what you're doing now is you're worshipping something that's not deserving of worship. How and not only that, huh? how is he not deserving? He's not of deserving of worship because there's something more powerful than him. He's not. Which is God, yes, of course. Baphomet that you're talking about is not deserving of worship because something created him. No one created him, my friend. No, 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 he did. No, he did. God is uncreated. You can't have two uncreated, uh, uncreated yes, beings. You can, bro. Sorry? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Do you know what cantos are? Okay, tell me. Do you, know, do you know what cantos are? No. Okay. So, you know, in Islam, you have hadiths. Yes. Satanism cantos, they are poems made after Dante's death. Okay. So, Dante, in one, says, although there may be two more powerful deities yeah. than myself, yeah. there is one worthy of worship. So, right, okay, so there's, okay, so there's two powerful, but one worthy of worship. So, what scholars have decided from that yeah. is that Dante believed that although there was two more powerful gods that would fight on Judgment Day, yeah. there is something that created them which is outside of comprehension. And that's the only line in the canto that says that. So if there's two powerful and one is worthy of worship, our point still stands. Because even if Satan, we believe Satan has, it has certain powers yes. that's given to him by God. We believe the Antichrist will have some powers that's given to him by God. My friend, Satan is not Baphomet. No, no, I know, but Baphomet has certain powers that's given to him. We refer to him as Iblis. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Iblis has powers that is given to him. He's acquired it by a god. Because he said to God, give me till the day of judgment and I will misguide them. Yes. So what you're doing in a nutshell is you're rejecting God because God orders you to do something. So you're taking your logic over God's commandment. And that's the reason why Iblis, Baphomet, got misguided. Because God you told him... You just said Iblis is Satan. No. Iblis, no. Satan, we use that interchangeably. But Iblis is the main guy. Okay. He's the one who disobeyed and this all started from. Yes. And then he has his children. Little Satans, you know, etc. Yeah. They come, you know, whisper. There's a specific Satan when you're praying. There's a special Satan that tells you to do this and that. So he has his little foot soldiers. The point I'm trying to make here is that when God Almighty told him to bow down to Adam, he said no. And why did he say no? Because he used his logic, his aql logic, over the naql, which is God's text. That's what called him to be misguided. And that's the reason why what you're following is you're outright saying, yeah, we believe there's God, but we don't follow him. Yes. So why are, you, why are you doing that? Because you're using your logic. And your logic is misguiding you. Not only that, you're worshipping something that is not deserving of worship. Iblis, Baphomet, yeah? But what you've um, told me, we already yeah. believe. So we know that God created Satan, gave him certain powers, Thank and then kicked him down they... to the lake of fire. No, no, did he create Baphomet? No. Nah, that's the issue here. We say that he did create Baphomet. How could you have two powerful beings? How does it say Baphomet in your Quran? No, it's Iblis. Because the one you're talking about, yeah. the head, it has to be Iblis. Satan is not Baphomet, my friend. They're two no, different no, no. people. Iblis. I'm saying Baphomet has to be Iblis. He's if not. he's the main source, well, I'm saying from our traditions, yeah. he has to be Iblis. If he's the one, yeah. you, you, do you worship Baphomet? Yes. So he's Iblis. My friend, from your Quran, yeah. you only believe one Satan, right? No. No. One, there's Iblis, okay. and there is many of his four soldiers. Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, my bad. So you believe that there's Iblis, right? Yes. So. What you're saying is just going back to the Quran. Yes. If you go back to our doctrines and scriptures, yes. there's two. They're two distinct different beings. So like mm. you're saying, you've got Iblis and but, his foot soldiers. Yeah, yeah. We got Baphomet, Satan, yeah. and then the foot soldiers. Yes. If you want an analogy. Yeah, but why are you worshipping him okay. when he's the source of evil? Baphomet is not the source of evil. He's he the, is. Okay, my friend. Satan is the source of evil, right? Okay. Okay. All right. So Satan, we, do, we don't worship. 
It's, even though it's called Satanism, I told you why it's called Satanism. Okay. Opposition to God. Yeah. Baphomet is the counterpart of God. But he is described as the God of peace, and he gives you peace in the afterlife. One second. This, uh, let's draw him. What is it like? He's a goat. <laughs> is it like this? Something like this? Yeah. Something like that, yeah? Yeah. And then you have God. Yes. And then you have Satan. Yes. Yeah? You worship Baphomet. Yes. Satan is God's foot soldier or Baphomet's foot soldier? Made by God, cast it down to the lake of fire to become Baphomet's foot soldier. So he became Baphomet's foot soldier. Now, he was created by God. Tell me the attributes of Baphomet. Tell me something about him. Attributes as in powers or looks? Looks, powers, tell me about him. Okay. So, he's depicted as a goat with a human body, he's got tits and a penis. Okay? Okay. So, he is the image of duality. And his attributes, he has the exact same attributes as God. Can you tell me how he can be God that has two boobs and a penis and his head is a goat? Can you tell me how on earth does that even resonate with an all-knowing, all-powerful God or God of mercy and justice? So that's just what he's depicted as. So if you're putting it that way... Why is he depicted in that way? Why not another way? Okay. He's depicted as the image of duality. So duality coming from a man, man and a woman, okay. and then a goat. So animal, woman, man, all three in one. Okay, but how how can I relate that and say that is God worthy of worship? So he promises you, you a good afterlife if you just follow him and follow his moral outlook on life. So if you worship him, you and can still. And what do you get in the afterlife? So you know how in Islam you have seven levels of Jannah. It's more than that. Okay. Oh, yeah. But to my understanding, yeah. that was it. In um, Satanism, from Dante's Inferno and the Paradiso, Purgatorio, all that he wrote, yeah. there's nine different levels of hell. Okay. Seven of them continue in torture till you get to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. So you're judged on your sins. The okay. top two, paradise. You can have whatever you want. Now, I usually analogize it like this, right? So if you believe that you can sell your soul to the devil yeah. and get whatever you want on earth, yes. then if you go into hell, which is ruled over by Baphomet, he can give you whatever you want in the first two levels. So in hell you get whatever you want? In the first two levels. You're in the fire. What, 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 what there's we there's gonna, no fire now. We're going to ask for water. <laughs> can I have water please? It's hell for hell. There's no fire now. No, you said in, there's in, fire. In the first two levels there's no fire. What's there? Paradise. No, you said the other three are paradise. No, top two. The top two are paradise. Paradise, seven, torture. Oh, okay. So one second. You yeah. said that you, if you, this, if you obey him, yeah, you get paradise. Yeah. Well, to me, you're explaining God. You just given you call it Baphomet, you call it worshiping. All you've done is it's shirk, it's idolatry. You said I'm gonna call not him God. I'm gonna call him Baphomet, and then I'm gonna follow him and yeah. worship him. And then there's also God in the picture. So what's the point of God here then? What's God doing here? Is he just watching? What's he doing? So, the reason we worship Baphomet instead of God is because he gives us so much more freedom than what God does. Ah, like, relating okay. back to the, um, okay. you know, the sex and... Okay, one second, one second. So you are basically, what Allah says in the Quran, yeah. you are worshipping your desires. So what are you doing? Your well, is, worldly desires. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Call it whatever you like. Desires. Yeah? Yep. This is your God. This here is your God. Because what you're saying is the following. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly how Satan got misguided. Okay. Allah told him to bow down to Adam. Yeah. He said no because I'm better than him. He used this logic which has actually made him... The moment he said he's better than Adam, he showed how stupid he is and how he's not better than Adam. Because he was arrogant. Yeah. And he said, I'm created of fire and he's created of clay. So what he's done is he is acknowledging or trying to logically say, well, our clay is better than fire. Yeah. God gave him that brain, or God gave him that logic. How are you using your logic to attack God? What it tells is right. What you're saying is no, we don't like what God said. We're going to follow what we call Iblis. Baphomet, you said something else. We're going to follow our desires. Who's going to fulfill our desires? I know, we'll make an imaginary person with a goat and boobs and a penis, and we'll call him Baphomet. And he tells us, 
uh, and this is by the way following your desires because no such thing as blasphemy exists I believe and what you've done is you made it up in your head and you're like okay we'll follow Baphomet okay, so that's please. how it seems to me and now you're following him because he allows you to do whatever you like and Allah says okay. in the Quran have you seen the one who takes his own desires as his God my friend I've said this multiple times they're not the same people but Satan says follow your desires I, I'm talking about Satan I'm talking about, I'm talking about Baphomet I'm talking about okay. Satan so Baphomet yeah. although he gives you certain things you can do yeah. Satan for marriage being gay being trans yeah. whatever yeah. It gives you certain things you can do that yeah. isn't in the Bible or the Quran. Yeah, and it's against what God commanded. Yes. Yes. So the fact that He's given you the free will to do that and choose who you want to be, yeah, He's whoever you worship. No, no. Whoever you are, yeah, He He claims you. No, what you're doing is a following. You're saying because He allows me to do things God has told me not to do is worthy of worship. And in a nutshell, Allah says, "Have you seen the one who takes his desires his own God? The one you're disobeying because you don't have what He's saying." wants the best for you don't disobey him because you don't like what he's saying if he's deserving of worship just the way you believe Baphomet is deserving of worship because it tells you to have some sexual freedom doesn't mean he's good for example and I'll call this example from a discussion if you go to a kid and say chocolate or broccoli which one would the kid pick? chocolate but would chocolate benefit them? no which one what would benefit them? Okay. It's the same situation. God is telling you broccoli, you're saying, I want chocolate. And if you carry on having chocolate, it's going to be bad for you. Yeah? And you. And you know what the amazing thing about this is? Well, God tells you there is a chocolate you can have. Yes, just be but, patient. But have it this way. Yes. So there is chocolate. It's What's not your name? June. June. Oh, yeah, June, June. Yeah? And by the way, me talking to you, I had to do my adhkar. You know, adhkar means my prayer. Yeah. To protect him because you're a Satan worshiper. I'm not saying you're bad. Don't get it wrong. Yeah? There's hope. I'm not trying to say, but. I have to protect myself because we believe in the other realm. Yeah. Satan's, jinns. Yeah. I've, otherwise, I would say to you, wait, I have to do my prayer. But well, do you practice like... Yeah, yeah, You yeah. don't have to say this, but do you practice like magical yeah, rituals? Yeah, yeah. No, you don't. No, you said you didn't. No. You said you was, you was with someone who was a witch. Yeah, my ex. Okay. But she was... was okay. Her famous. okay, look, listen, Junior. Yeah? Look, you're a fellow human being. I'm sorry if I offended you before about Baphomet. I'm, no, trying, funny, I'm sorry, forgive me. I'm, I'm no, not trying. Funny, funny. What I'm trying to say in the following is I want the best for you like I want for myself. Yeah? I believe the path you own is wrong. Fair enough. But what I'm saying is, have you read the Quran? You haven't. Give the Quran a chance. I'm going to. Okay. Let's That's give you a Quran. I've been, I've been to a mosque. Yeah? Interesting. No problem. If you want, get my contact details. Yeah? We can go. We can, but what I'm saying is just think about it. God wants the best for you. Having anything you want doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you. There are certain things that God has created us with. You can have marriage. You don't have to have sex before marriage. Yeah, there is a lot of juices, orange juice, apple juice, raspberry juice. Stay away from alcohol. There's a lot of meat, chicken, beef, duck. I'll give you a list, king prawns. Stay away from pork. Yeah? But what, so, what I'm saying, Ali, is he only gives you what you want to a certain extent. No, no, but, but okay, okay, that's good. Now, June, that's very interesting. Yeah. Even Baphomet is giving you freedom to a certain extent. Is, then yeah. why do you worship the one that's deserving, which is God? He's giving you more freedom. No, but one second. How oh, does yeah, that no. mean that's good? June, check this out. Yeah. Baphomet is saying you can do, no, God is saying you can do A, B, but not C, D, E, F, G. Yeah. Baphomet is saying you can do A, B, C, D, E, F, but not G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Yes. Oh, but there's just a few differences. <laughs> Come on, man. Open the Quran somewhere. Let's see what God has to say for us. Bismillah. Let's pick a verse. I wish they showed what verse he landed on. Um, I have to agree at the end of the video where one God is saying you can't do A, B. The other one says you can do A, B, C, D, E, F. You know, it's like the same difference, you know both gods have restrictions um this was actually interesting to listen to and to watch although i don't have much to say because they kept on going on about on who was god who was baphomet who was satan all those things and what i would have loved for this though is um if the satanists could have said more like how do they pray how do they live um he doesn't practice the witchcraft part of uh his religion i guess if you quote that and i'd have loved more of that otherwise this was interesting not much to say tell me what you guys think about this video 
there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video